So 2K just dropped a gameplay patch. What you seeing right now is gameplay after the patch. The patch just dropped and this is new gameplay. As y'all see, the banners are different colors now. They are no longer red. They're purple and gold and yeah, man, they're, they, they change a lot of stuff, right? But what you seeing is live gameplay from after the patch, okay? So yeah, all this gameplay y'all seeing right now is after the patch. The greens that we, we finna go over all of the gameplay that that they fixed supposedly okay but let's go over it one by one uh i dropped a couple vids on tiktok so y'all can go check that out but the first thing that they said is they made various adjustments to reduce effectiveness of pass steals including toning down unrealistic catches to close to the passer and blind catches facing the wrong way so they toned down passing lane steals they toned that down a lot uh from this first bullet point here next uh they said they improved shot contest logic for more reliable coverage scores for both perimeter and interior hands down situations will no longer register as tight open shots received a slight buff to maintain balance open shots have received a slight buff so what they're saying is that open shots have received a slight buff. You will be hitting more consistently open shots. Now in this gameplay, as y'all see, uh, I did shoot 60 this gameplay. Gameplay feels kind of the same. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like, th like, this is after the patch. And I don't know. I shot 60. I usually shoot 50. So maybe they fixed it. I'm not sure, but. As far as the shooting, it feels a little the same. Everything feels the same. I don't know. Uh, I did see a lot of people hit whites, as y'all gonna see in this gameplay. But yeah, the next bullet point: improve responsiveness when dribbling or shooting with the pro stick, and also reduce delays with catch and shoot. So improve responsiveness and uh, for shooting and dribbling. Next bullet point is uh, they fixed an exploit that made low post fades overly effective so they fixed the post fade glitch if my post scores out there people are post scoring doing the you know that cheesy stuff they i think they fixed it supposedly we're gonna see if they fixed it i don't know if that's even possible to fix but yeah they said it in this bullet point next is uh they repair some dribble move branches including the 720 spin glitch and unwanted dribble hesitation moves from triple threat so that crazy dribble spin that they took that out the game uh next is standing floaters will now properly use close shot rating while driving floaters will you will use outweighed average or the higher between so standing floaters are better now and they go towards your close shot rating so yeah i didn't see anybody asking for that Next is restricted post spin shots to live dribble situations to prevent dribble, double dribble violations. All right, uh, next bullet point. A slight nerf was made to deep post drop step effectiveness. So they nerfed drop steps a little bit. So yeah. Next is uh, falling facing down shot landings will no longer trigger when you hit from behind so yeah falling face down shot landings are out of the game unless they hit you from behind i don't know if nobody asked for that but yeah all right next bullet point is uh they tune down catch collisions to improve animation coverage and have them play in more appropriate situations huh they tuned cats collisions. So I'm guessing they let you come down with the ball. I'm not sure about that. Next bullet point is uh, they improved the ball attachment logic, particularly when starting a dunk or a layup mid dribble. Improved ball attachment logic. So, you know, this was a problem, man. Like you go up for a dunk or something and the ball just comes off your body. I can see that uh but like i said before man this gameplay that i'm playing right now it feels the same before the patch so i don't know maybe we have to play a little bit more maybe i have to play 
a lot more in competitive uh, situations and stuff like that. Maybe in part game modes is more isolated and I can see the problems. But this wreck gameplay, it felt just like first week. It feels just like first week. So oh, I did notice, I did notice in this gameplay that TakeOver does go up fast. Like TakeOver does go up fast. As y'all see, I got six points and I almost got my full TakeOver. So yes, TakeOver does go up fast, which goes to this next bullet point. Uh, added support to scale TakeOver meter progress diffi differently for short quarters and modes with game clock such as triple threat and my team. So they did buff TakeOver speed. I feel it right here. Uh, Y'all see it's going up really fast. Next is they fixed an issue where 2K camera flip would get confused on the direction. Uh, yeah. Next bullet point. Manually selected defensive matchups will no longer reset after timeout is called. Okay, that's pretty good. Next uh, bullet point is adjusted one of Jordan Clarkson's step back jumpers to prevent unrealistic initial dribble speed. So this was a glitchy Jordan Clarkson step back. They fixed that. Uh, next bullet point is updated. Devin Booker's post shimmy fade package. I uh, didn't even know nothing was wrong with that. Uh, next bullet point. Change Mark Williams signature jump shot to be valid for big men only. Okay. More restrictions. Uh... Next bullet point is your player will break out of the go-to shot if moved too far from the shot marker in certain drills. Okay, some more restrictions. I don't know. I didn't even know that was a problem. Next is they fixed an issue that made self alley oops very difficult to complete in the dunk contest. I didn't even know we had a dunk contest. What are they talking about? Fixed an issue that made self alley oops very difficult. Hmm. Okay. Next is uh last but not least for the gameplay, they fixed a scoring bug in the dunk contest that would incorrect. See, bro, I, I I don't care about this. I don't care about this. All right. But uh other things that I did see that they did fix. Y'all could go over these patch notes. Uh, it's in their Discord or whatever. They did uh make getting lethals against. A lethal shooter easier they did fix that so yeah uh i don't know if this goes live season two or it's live now but i didn't really feel that much of a difference maybe they fixed a little bit of things for now like a little hot fix for now and then when season two drops they officially drop everything but yeah, the shooting felt the same to me, and I, I shot a bunch of, like, open, wide open shots, so... I don't know. Shooting feels the same. Contests, they feel the same. Uh, steals, they kind of feel the same. Uh, takeover felt different. Takeover did feel different. I haven't tried post... The post-fade glitch yet. I haven't tried that, so... I don't know. Maybe... We gotta wait till season two, or maybe they didn't do it yet. So yeah, these are the patch notes for right now. Y'all can read the rest of this on their Discord, and y'all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Let me show you what I went from the field this first game after the patch. I did go seven for eleven. Yeah, That's like yeah, sixty from the fit from the three pointer. Uh, yeah, I usually shoot forty to fifty, maybe. It's I don't know, bro. We gotta we gotta play it some more, I guess. But yeah, even though we got blown out, I'm in solo rec right now. Uh, I did shoot a little bit better. I usually shoot 40 to 50, so I shot 60 this game. So I don't know, man. Y'all, let me know what y'all feel about this patch, man, in the comment section. Hit that like and subscribe.